Hi again. Hi guys. So this is a beginner listening class. We're going to be talking about how to tell time. We're going to look at different ways to tell time, time expressions, and you'll be listening to me telling time, and you have to record what you hear as well. Okay, so um, if you have reservations, you can join me right now. Hey, guys. Hi. If not, you can just wait until you see the green Join Hangout button. Okay? Hello. Hello. How are you guys? I'm fine today. Great. Awesome. Nice to see you. Uh, <laughs> Amar, where are you from? I'm from uh, Saudi Arabia. Okay, cool. And what time is it right now in Saudi Arabia? Uh, 7 uh, p.m. It's, um, I'm in uh, Toronto right now, it's 11 a.m. Sorry, I have a kid who's scream. Oh, <laughs> I mute okay. myself, okay. <laughs> and Pong uh, Pong is that how you say your name? Yes. Uh, yes, where are you from? Like, correctly. I'm, okay, from good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from... Thailand, and you can uh, say the easily word uh, for a new name, Tony. It's okay for you. Tony. Tony? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. That's easier, I think, than uh, Pongzathorn. <laughs> Is yes. this your English name to go by Tony? <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah. Right. All right. Cool. Uh, so, what time is it in Thailand? It's about uh, uh, around midnight, right? So you must be getting tired? <laughs> no, 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 no. Great. Get to uh, uh, study with you and uh, my friend in this class. All right, cool. Um, so everyone, you can join now if you click the button. You have to be quick. <laughs> All right. Hi hey guys. Hi everybody. Hello. Hello everybody. Hello. Hi everyone. Hi Samantha. Just to warm up, um, I'd like you to please tell me your name, where you're from. Oops. And what time is it in your country? Sure. And what time is it in your country? So I am Samantha. I am from Canada, um, and it is 11:05 a.m. right now. Um, Abdul. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to introduce myself? Sure. Okay. My name is Abdul. I'm from Pakistan. I'm working in a government company in Pakistan as a recruitment officer. I am 26 years old. And what time is it right now in your country? It's 9 p.m. Okay, cool. And nice to meet you. And hello, Thanks. Alessandro. Hello, Samantha. I'm Alessandro from Italy. And now it's 5.05 .05 p.m. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I actually just arrived in Canada Saturday. So I'm still a little bit jet lagged. Do you guys know what this term means? Jet lag? Yeah. So yeah, in yeah. here it's, it's 5 p.m. right now. So I have to kind of get used to it. Or sorry, it's 4 p.m. in Paris. Um, so I'm a little jet lagged. <laughs> um, what about you, Omar? Omar? Uh, I think you already told us when you came in. That's okay. Anastasia? Uh, yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, Samantha. Hey. I'm from Kazakhstan. Uh, well, it's now uh, 10.06 p.m. in okay. Kazakhstan. Yep. Cool. So almost time for bed? <laughs> yeah, it's time for bed. But it, for me, it's time for study. <laughs> All right. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Good, 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 good student. <laughs> yeah, I just, I adore English. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, what about you, Andre? 
Hello, Samantha. I'm Andre from uh, Paris in France, uh, and uh, here it's 5 p.m. Cool. And Daniel? Hello, Samantha. I'm from Spain. Um, where where I live, I it's, it's a small city, and it's, it's 5... Uh, Six to five. So you say it's five, five oh six. Yeah. Or six, six after five. Six, six after five p.m. Okay. And cool. What about you, Laura? Hi. Um, uh, I'm from Spain. Uh, it's uh, five o'clock. Uh, no, it's seven. Five to seven. Five PM. Five oh seven. Yes, PM. Okay, cool. And Perkin. Six seven PM. Six oh seven. Yeah, six oh seven. Um, and what about you? Um, oh, Pongathon, you already told us. <laughs> okay, cool. So eleven AM here for me, just after eleven. Um, so what we're going to be talking about telling time today. If you didn't guess already or hear me say it. <laughs> so, um, so first thing I want to look at is the difference between a digital and an analog clock. So you probably already know this. You might just not know the words. Um, so a digital clock is the kind of clock where you can see the numbers, right? You can see the digits. So usually you see this on a watch or an alarm clock. And then analog clocks, that's what we call clocks that have hands, like these. So those are the two different kinds of clocks. And we're going to look at how to read time for, for both of them today. So let me just find my document. Right, so digital clocks have digits. Digits are what we call the numbers. And analog clocks have hands. So the hands... On a clock, we have the hour hand, the minute hand, and the second hand. Not all analog clocks have the second hand. That's the one that ticks the seconds by, but most of them do. Um, you need to know how to read numbers in order to tell time, right? So basically, you need to know how to read from numbers 1 to 59. Does everybody here know how to read from numbers 1 to 59? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So you're good. That's a great start. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, some analog clocks are actually in Roman numerals. Do you know what Roman numerals are? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Kind of. So you only really need to know how to read numbers 1 to 12 in Roman numerals, right? So here's the, there's 1 to 12 for you. Um, but most clocks aren't in Roman numerals. Just nice fancy ones, right? Um, so there's numbers 1 to 12 in, in Roman numerals. Birkin's going all out here. So that is far beyond 12. <laughs> <laughs> um, my clock actually up there is in Roman numerals. So, And then some clocks, they make it really difficult. And they don't even give you the numbers. They just put ticks. Right? So it depends on the clock. Hi, this is Samantha. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi. I'm Omar. That is far beyond 12. Cool. I think I'm echoing. I'm Omar. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so we're talking about telling time. Um, so the next thing you need to know is some time expressions. These aren't complicated expressions, just like ve the very basic expressions that we use when we're telling time. So, time is money? Yeah, not that kind of expression. But okay. yes, time is money, yeah, things like that. Those are... Um, other expressions. I just mean like words and that you use when you're telling time. Okay. Like the first one would be o'clock. O'clock. So, what does that mean? O'clock. It just means o'clock. And <laughs> punto. <laughs> right. So it when it's right on the hour, right? This is five. 
five o'clock. That's the only time you ever say o'clock, okay, is if you're actually talking about the hour. You wouldn't say it's five past six o'clock. You would just say it's five past six. So it sounds a little bit funny to say o'clock unless you're specifically saying the hour. It's six o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Um, like sharp, five sharp. Five sharp, yeah, that's another expression. For five o'clock, you could say it's five sharp. You're actually talking about the day of the yeah, it's Samantha. Yes? How, how is he, it right? Pardon? How is it, it right? Dispersion. It's right? It's uh, on a chart. Say, yes, uh, chart this, chart. this is Persian. But I can Sorry, I, I can see the chart. I don't know the expression you're talking what? about. It's when right. you explain o'clock, you see the chart. The yeah. So can, it, can you read this Persian? The, the Oh, in the regular chat? Yeah. So I was saying it's 5 o'clock or it's 5 sharp. And these both mean 5 o'clock. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, and then the next one is noon. What does noon mean? After 5, it yeah. Still. It me noon, just noon, it means a very specific time. 12 o'clock. Right. Ap after 12 p.m. PM is, is just noon. Yes. Okay. And then we have midnight. What time is midnight? 12 a.m. 12 a.m. Yeah. 12 a.m. Okay. And then you can say, you can talk about afternoon. Yeah, afternoon or midday. What is the afternoon? It's after, from 12 till 6 o'clock. Yeah, about that. So it depends on, you could say that 5.30 to 6 is in the afternoon. If you want to be more specific, you can say in the early or late afternoon. So you can say in the early morning, in the late morning, in the early afternoon, oops, or in the late afternoon. So early afternoon would be like 1 o'clock to maybe 2.30 or 3. And then late afternoon would be maybe 3-ish until 6. So it's not really a specific time period, right? It's kind of general. Um, but it's a way to be more specific about afternoon. So we say in the morning, in the afternoon, but we say at night. You don't say in the night. You say at night. Mm -hmm. and then later, I hear some like weird beeping. Yeah, Morse code. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Morse code. Where, where is this coming from? <laughs> look know. like in, look, look like in insect from Mark. Yeah, Mark does this. Sound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then you can also say um in the middle of the night. So if it's like. 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. ish, that's in the middle of the night. So if someone calls you at 3 a.m., you're like, why are you calling me in the middle of the night? I'm sleeping. If you're really angry, right? So <laughs> kind of the, the early a.m., that's the middle of the night. Um, the night. The night. So, yeah, you can say midday as well. So those are kind of the most general words that we use when we're talking about time. Um, the next thing you need to know is how to actually tell time. So first thing we're going to look at is an analog clock. And you're going to laugh at my clock drawing in a second. But that's OK. I'm going to share my screen. Here is my clock. OK. <laughs> yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. Did you draw this one? Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, <Wow>. great job. <laughs> well, Thanks. <laughs> OK. So, clock. so right on the hour, you can see up here, is o'clock, right? Yes. Right on the 6, 
is 30. It's not letting 30. me. There you go. Uh -huh. If it's right, right on 6, we say 30. Okay? Now, when you're talking about any time on this half of the clock, from 12 to 6, you use past or after. So, for example, this is my minute hand. Okay. Oops. <laughs> There's my second hand. Um, <laughs> that wasn't great. Let me try this again. <laughs> okay. Here's my hour hand and my minute hand. So I would say in this case it's 10 after 12 or it's 10 past 12. And for way down here you would say it's 25 after 12 or it's 25 past 12. But as soon as you get on the other side of the 6 you use the word to instead. So you wouldn't say it's 35 past 12 or it's mm. 35 after 12. You wouldn't say that. You would instead you'd switch over and use to and say it's 25 to 1. So you talk mm. about the upcoming hour. Okay, mm. so basically on the left side of the clock you're talking about the upcoming hour and on the right side of the clock over here you talk mm. about past or after. So, um, so, how would you read this time? Uh, 20 past 1. Past okay. 1. Good. Past Good. One. 20 past 1 or 20 or after 1. After 1. one. Or 120, right? Just yes. one. Yes. That's the, the easy way to say it, right? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, what about this? 130. 130, 130 or just half past right. one. I forgot to write half past, but you can either say 130 or you can say half, okay. half past one I'll write it over or here. just half. half after one. You can't say half after. Only half past. Only half past? Yeah, not Why? half after. Um, okay. So half past goes over here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for my drawing. Okay. So you can either say it's one thirty, it's half past one. One thirty. How do I get rid of my email? Okay, next one. What time? Ten is to it? one. Good. Ten to one. Ten to one. Not fifty past one, right? Ten to one. <laughs> <laughs> Just say ten to one. Now, what about if? No, I I think uh, uh, maybe we say ten to two. Right, sorry, 10 to 2. 10 to yeah. 2. 10 to yeah. 2. 10 not to 50 two. past 1. 10 to yes. 2. So, what about if the minute hand falls on the 3 or the 9? Quarter, quarter to, quarter to quarter. 1. Right. Quarter. So then you say quarter. Quarter. It's, my <laughs> it's really hard to, to write quarter. out this thing. <laughs> quarter <laughs> 2. Okay is used for this last 15 minutes and two, two. quarter past I'm just going to do it like this quarter past is for the first 15 minutes or you can say quarter after as well you can say quarter past or quarter after so this you would say it's quarter to two yes. or you could say it's 145 Right? Yes. Now, where's my AAC? Okay. Let's do another one. What about, what about this? Samantha. Yes? Sebastian asking a question. He says, uh, can we say 445? Yep. So you could either say one, 
let me go back to over here. There are different ways you could say this time. 145. Quarter to two. Quarter to two. Yep. Why quarter to two? two one. What quarter to one? It's like quarter to one. No, it's quarter to two because the hour hand is on the one. So in mm -hmm. fifteen minutes, it will be two o'clock. Mm. Ah, okay. The hour hand would would technically be more like. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Right? It would technically probably be closer to the two, right? It would be kind of like yes. over there. But um, just to make it easier for us to read. <laughs> just yes, yes. Do it at the one. So, <laughs> so, yeah, either 145 or a quarter to two. Quarter to two. To two. Sounds funny. Quarter to two, yeah. Um, it sounds like a tutu. Do you know what a tutu is? Well, if you say in Russian, tutu does mean uh, no one's here. Oh, okay. Kind so of like that. <laughs> a tutu is like the pink s skirt that ballerinas wear in English. Mm. Really? Yeah, we call it a tutu. <laughs> tutu. <laughs> okay. Tutu. Funny. Okay, so let's do another one. Tutu. Mm. What's going on? Tutu. Here we go. Okay. This is the hour hand now at the seven. Okay. What time is it? Five to eight. Good. Five to seven. Five to eight. Five to eight. Five to eight. seven. To seven. Yeah. No, f five to eight, not seven. F five it's to eight. Either seven fifty-five or five to eight. Fifty-five to eight. No. <laughs> oh, oh, no. So this is where you don't say fifty-five past, right? You you only use past or after for numbers between twelve and six. So as soon as you get past thirty, you start using two. So you say five to seven or seven. Fi sorry, five to eight. Five to eight or seven fifty-five. What mm. about? Oh, what about, fine. What about this? It is five past seven. Uh, it is uh, twenty-five past seven. Good. No. Twenty-five past. Yep. Or twenty-five past eight. Past seven. No. Nope, ah, seven. Past seven. It's okay. Past seven. Oh, okay. Okay. Twenty-five <laughs> past seven, or um, or seven twenty-five, right? Oh yeah. Okay. You see. You see. What about this? No. It's noon. 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 Yeah. Or twelve o'clock. Noon. Twelve o'clock. Noon. Twelve. Or midnight. <laughs> <laughs> midday. Midday. Yeah, or midday. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, now I want to talk about something else with, with telling time. When the minute hand is between two numbers, so it's like 727 or 846, usually you either round up or you round down. So instead of saying 747, you would either just say it's quarter to eight or it's ten to eight. You can either round up or round down. So mm. to the closest five. So for example, with here's my use pink. <laughs> here's our hour hand at oh. eleven. Okay. And here's our minute hand. So how how would you say this time? Uh, it is 20 uh, to uh, 12. Right. So you would just either round up and say it's 20 to 12, or you could say it's... 8 to 12. Right. So you could say 20 to 12. You could say it's 11.35, or you could say it's 11.40. You could either round up or round down mm. to the closest five. You see? Mm. 
Or you can be specific and say it's 1137 if you want to be. Okay. That's <laughs> but usually, generally, when we're telling time, you, you either round up or down. If someone asks you what time is it, you would go, oh, it's 20 to 12. You would just kind of round it. Um, okay. So another one. Like uh, when you ask me uh, what time in your country, I tell you seven, but actually it's... Uh, it is, uh, it is uh, 20 uh, uh, past uh, 11. Yeah, that was... Was that Amar that was talking? For... Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So when I was asking you guys at the start, what time is it? You just say, you know, it's seven, even though it's really, you know, 7.04. It's mm -hmm. just... It's seven, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Close enough. <laughs> so <laughs> you're not always super specific with with time. So how would how would we read this one? It is twenty to uh, uh, tw twenty uh, past eleven. Yeah. Twenty. Yes. Twenty. Two. Twenty past twelve. Yeah. Or what else? Twenty after eleven. Yeah. Eleven. Uh, after. Twelve. Good. Twenty past eleven. Yes. Twenty after eleven. What yeah, else? Can 20. You, say? you yes. could round. You could round down instead and say it's quarter past eleven. Oh. Right? You could. You can round it. When you're rounding, you can round it either way. You can either round can it to the three or round it to the four. It's it's up to you. Like because if, it, because for example, it is. For example, if it's eleven sixteen. You'll probably say it's quarter past, but if it's eleven nineteen, you'll probably just, say it's twenty past, right? Twenty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if it, if it's closer to quarter to, closer to twenty after, you that depend that um, determines whether you round it up or down. Um, mm. So let me find my. Can we here. say twenty after eleven? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, here's that time we just had. Yeah, you could say 20 after 11, or you could say quarter after 11. Mm. Or you could say 11, 17. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's, let's do another one. Oh, yellow is terrible. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> we won't use yellow. Okay, there's the hour hand. Yes. Yellow is a color of uh, crazy people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's the very crooked. Uh, uh, it is uh, ten, ten to nine. Ten to nine. Yep. Ten uh, to nine. Uh, to eight. Ten to nine. Ten, ten, ten to nine. nine. What else could you say? Yes. Ten to nine. Or yeah. Five to nine. Yeah. Five to nine. Eight forty. Eight. Eight to nine. Eight forty. Not 40. 50. 50, 50 yeah. 50. 50, yeah. 850. Um, 853 or 54, I don't know. <laughs> okay. What about yeah. this? It is uh, half past 8. Or? 830. Uh, 8.30, good. And 8 this? 30. Half past Maybe eight thirty, maybe eight uh, to twenty-five past. Eight thirty. Eight. Right. Exactly. So, either eight thirty, twenty-five past, eight twenty-five. Right. So you kind of round it in between. Okay. Cool. Look at something else now. Um. So here's a list of kind of different ways. That pretty much what we just talked about. So quarter two or quarter past. Half past, um, five minutes to six, or just five to six. Um, when you're talking about time, I could say I have to go to work in five minutes. So you use in. Sorry, in five minutes. In five minutes. And then we talked about rounding up or rounding down to the five. Okay. Um, so here's some different ways to. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, sorry, but uh, I uh, need to go out break time in Saudi Arabia. Okay, no worries. Okay, see you. Bye.
Um, oh, there was one other thing with analog time. Sometimes it's on a 24-hour clock. What is a 24-hour clock? It is a uh, midnight. Right. So what happens with? Um, I'm just gonna oops, erase this. What happens with a 24-hour clock is uh, you go one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock a.m. Once you get up to 12, this becomes 13, 14, 14 right? 15. Mm -hmm. And so on. And it goes all the way around the clock like this. So we either call this the 24 hour clock or we sometimes call it army time because in the army. army. Yeah, we'll call it army time because in the mm. military they always use the 24 hour clock. Mm. Um, so we just call it army time. It's sl mm. kind of slang. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. So to read it, army time or 24 hour clock, it's the same thing. Except basically time goes from 1 a.m. all the way to 11 a.m. noon. And then afternoon, 1 p.m. becomes 1300. 2 p.m. becomes 1400 hours, right? Um, I hear an echo. Let me get rid of that. So the way you read it, you could say it's 1400 hours. It's 1500 hours. Um, you wouldn't say it's 15 o'clock. You wouldn't say that. So we only use a clock when we're talking about the 12-hour clock that has a.m. for the morning and p.m. for night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. When you're talking about army time or 24-hour uh, clock, you don't use a clock. You don't, you don't say it's 15 o'clock. Incorrect. That sounds funny. Okay, so you would just say... <laughs> It's mm -hmm. 1,500 hours, um, but we honestly like never use it, very rarely. It sounds kind of like you're, you're trying to be a spy or something, <laughs> yeah. so we don't really use it very often, but it's still kind of good to know how to read it. Um, okay, so any questions so far about any of this? No, everything is clear. All right, cool. So let's go on to something else. Um, how to ask for the time. So there's different variations of the same question, basically. I pasted them in the chat, so there they are. What's the time? What time is it? Have you got the time by any chance? Do you have the time, please? Sorry, could you tell me the time, please? What's the time, please? Do you know what time it is? <laughs> so there's different ways that you can ask someone for the time. Or well, could you, you please tell me the time? Could you please tell me the time? Um, if you don't have this, if you guys don't speak the same language, mm -hmm. do this. Body, body language, body language. Right. <laughs> so this is like I don't understand what time. So tapping your wrist is very universal for time because people recognize that it's a watch, right? Yes. And yes. then yes. they would either show you their watch or just maybe shrug. <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of how you can ask for time from someone um, who speaks a different language. <laughs> or maybe look, shrug. Shrug? shrug? This is shrug. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. You shrug your shoulders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. They yeah. might go, uh, I don't know, sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so that's a way you can ask someone if, if you don't speak the same language. Mm -hmm. um, and if anyone <laughs> ever someone? runs up to you doing this, you know what that means, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, okay. Or maybe or maybe uh, look look at the sun, and you guess <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> yeah, you just go. Um, hmm. It's about one thirteen, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, actually, people in ancient time uh, just define the time by sun, you know, and by the shadow. Yes. Yeah, and we use um the the sun. What are they called? Um, sun. Sun dials. A sundial is is like a. I'll show you a picture um, of the sundial. Right. Oh wow! This is a sundial. So the way it works is based on the time, and you can see in this one, 
Mm. The shadow tells you what time it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. I didn't know that. Where you can buy this one? Um, I don't know where you would buy one. It's very old-fashioned. Um, yes. Here's a good a good picture of one, right? Mm-hmm. It's very mm -hmm. it's a very old-fashioned thing, um, and you would you have to place it in a certain spot. Um, mm. I don't know exactly how it works, but if you just put it beside your house, it probably wouldn't work, right? Because you're gonna get crazy shadows from your house. So it has to be in a sunny area. Um, and there's more rules, but I don't know where you buy one. But that's a natural, <laughs> natural way to tell time, right? It's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it on uh, eBay. <laughs> yeah, maybe check eBay. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you, you can okay. you can be about that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So what I wanted to do now. Oh, um, how to read a digital clock. So basically. If you can read an analog clock, you can definitely read a digital clock, right? The digital clocks are much easier to read. They give you the numbers. <laughs> so <laughs> it's yeah. pretty hard to uh, to mess that up. So let me just find... I had a website. Here we're going to take a look at it. Where's my... Sorry, just a second. Here it is. Okay, I'll just share my screen. So, here's a few digital clock displays. Mm -hmm. What time is it, the first one? 10, 30, am. 10, Yeah. 10, 30. 10, 30. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, you read it how it looks, right? Or you could say it's half past 10. Half past yeah. 10. Uh, actually, how you will... Um, the whole AM, how you will, I don't know, say the whole uh, name for this one. 10.30 AM. Mm. I know AM, but AM has, um, oh, what it's, it's abbreviation, you yeah. know, just, um, but how it's, um, I don't know how to say this one. Let me, what does AM stand for? Yeah. Okay, it stands, stands for Ante... Meridian. Uh huh. Post meridian. And it's Latin for before noon and afternoon. Okay. And so all of the times leading up to noon are AM or ante meridian, and the times after noon are. PM or post meridian. But uh -huh. you would never say it's 10 a.m. ante meridian. <laughs> so, very, that would be a very strange thing to say. Um, uh -huh. Okay, and what about the next one? 12.15. Oh, here's yeah. another thing you can say for this first one. It's 10.30 in the morning. So when oh. something is a.m., you can say in the morning. In the morning. For p.m., you can say in the afternoon, in the evening, or at night. Or oh, at night. On the time, yeah. Um, and then for really early hours, like 1 a.m. to 4 a.m., you would say in the middle of the night, right? Mm -hmm. So for this you could say it's 10.30 a.m., half past 10, or 10.30 in the morning. Um, so this one we said 12.15, 12.15 in the afternoon you could say. It's quarter past 12. Uh, what about the next one? 9.45 in, in the evening. Yep. Nice. In the evening. Mm -hmm. Or just 9.45 p.m. Yep. Or there's one other. 9.45 at night. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, quarter to quarter ten. To <laughs> quarter to ten. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. Uh, next one. 4.25 p.m. Yeah. Or just... 25 Five to 8. 25 past, past 
past four, right? 25 past four, 425 p.m., 425 in the afternoon. Um, also, sometimes, once you're getting close to 30, you might just say it's 430. Or you mm. could say it's almost 430. Oh, almost or approximately. It's, yeah, almost, um, just about. Just about. Approximately, nearly. Just allow. Mm -hmm. So you could say it's almost 4.30. It's just about 4.30. Even if it's like 4.25, you're, you're getting close, so you might just tell someone it's almost okay. 4.30. Thanks. Um, what about the next one? 7.45 in the morning or just it's 5 to 8. 55. So, yeah, 7.55 in the morning, 5 to 8, or just 7.55. Or you could say it's almost 8, right? Almost 8 a.m. Uh, next one? It is 10 past 6. Yeah. 10 uh, past 6. Or, uh, or uh, 10. Uh, uh, six to ten uh, in the morning. Uh, in the evening. Right. Six it, ten in the evening. Six ten p.m. Six ten past six. Ten after six. Um, it is two. Uh, it's almost two thirty. Right. Good. Almost two thirty. Mm. In the evening. Um. In the afternoon. Yeah. Two. Ah, I think. Two p.m. is more like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In the afternoon. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Two twenty-eight. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So reading digital clocks is pretty easy, right? Because <laughs> they give you the numbers. So. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. So the next thing I wanted you guys to do is listen to me telling time or giving you a time, and then write it down. So if you have a piece of paper and you feel like drawing a clock, that would be awesome. You can do that. <laughs> but you don't have to. It's okay. You can just imagine it, what, what it would look like. Um, or you can be creative and use my paint tool and draw a clock like what I did. <laughs> um, or you can just type into the chat the digital time. Okay? Mm -hmm. So first one, 3.42. PM. So just type it in the chat. Three forty two PM. Okay. Oh, I see we've got people in the other chat as well. Um for Laura and Louis, is there any way you can get into the verbling chat? Hi. Okay. Can you if you click verbling classes, do you hmm. Are you able to see the verbling chat? Okay. It doesn't matter. You can use either chat. I'll check them both. Okay, so 3.42 p.m. What about it's 10 to 12? PM or AM? PM. <laughs> oh. Right. Not 10 after. 10 to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Good. So 11.50. Good. It's 10 to 12. Okay. What about it's 4.36 AM? Can you repeat, please? It's 4.36 AM. 4.36 a.m. A.m., yeah. In the morning. Yes, or in the morning. Or you could <laughs> say it's the middle of the night, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. It's quarter past seven. Morning, evening. Quarter past seven in the morning. Perfect. No, good. And Laura, good. Um, Abdul, that's an eight, I think. Oh no, it's an and sign. You were trying to do the seven. I see what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Good. Seven fifteen. Good. Um, other ways I could say it's seven fifteen, right? 
You wouldn't say it's 45 to 8, no. <laughs> but you could say 7.15. Okay, it's half past 9 in the morning. Perfect. Okay. okay, it's 20 to 2 in the afternoon. 20 to 2 in the afternoon. Close, Laura. No, it's, yeah, Abdul has it. So 20 to 2 means it's 140. That's right, 140. Okay. PM, no? And 240 would be 20 to 3. And yes, it has to be PM because I said in the afternoon. Okay. Post media. So the, it would be 1.40 p.m. is 20 to 2 in the afternoon. Okay. It's noon. <laughs> noon. Okay, no, noon is not a.m. Noon is p.m. Noon? P.m. Yeah. Noon is p.m. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, okay, it's midnight. A.M. <laughs> right. Ching. Yeah. A.M. Okay. Ching p.m. to p.m. Yeah. A.M. It's quarter past midnight. Quarter past midnight? Uh. Good. Yes. Good, okay. It's quarter to three in the morning. It's quarter to three in the morning. Close, James. Qu quarter to three in the morning. Yes, perfect, Laura. 2.45 a.m. Um, Abdul, that is quarter after. So quarter to three is 2.45. Okay. Um, it's 6 a.m. 6. 6 a.m. That's the meaning. Okay. okay. Um, so, what if I use military time? Do you guys know military time a little bit? No. The 24 hour clock? Army time, military time. Yeah. So what if I say it's 1,500 hours? Right, Anastasia. So it's, it's pretty easy to, because military time, they will almost always just say the numbers. So mm. they would it's say it's, it's 1825. Mm. Right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So 1825 would look like this, and it would equal 625 p.m. Yes. So, okay, how about, um, let's do, it's quarter to nine in the evening. Quarter? Quarter to nine in the evening. Perfect. It's 20 past 11 in the morning. Twenty past eleven. Yeah, eleven twenty. Good. Okay. So I think we're pretty good. We're pretty good with this, right? So you you under oh it's uh I didn't say any o'clocks. It's it's eight o'clock. PM. <laughs> okay. <laughs> An easy one. <laughs> there you go. So we've got o'clock, noon, midnight, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Okay. You don't say in the night. Okay. So now I want you guys to, we just have about 10 minutes, so I'd like you to do a bit of speaking. Yes. So you have two options, okay? Two options. 
You can either describe your daily routine, just like when you wake up, what do you do? Tell us specifically what you do did at which time. So for example, this morning at 7.25 a.m., I woke up. Um, I had a shower at 8.30. Um, I brushed my teeth at quarter past nine, and then I made breakfast at quarter to 10. Okay, so just kind of give us a quick description and use some time expressions. Or you can imagine you're going on a vacation and describe your itinerary of what you're going to do. So basically, I just want you to use, use time, telling time a little bit, and use some of the expressions, OK? OK. Um, uh, Anastasia, would you like to go first? Um, yeah, OK. It can just be really <laughs> quick, like just a minute or two. You don't have to talk so long. Okay. okay, and just maybe just go on vacation. Okay, in vacation, um, I will wake up at 9 o'clock. Uh, then at 9.15, I will go to brush my teeth and take a shower. Then, like, at uh, 10, uh, 5, I will make a breakfast. Uh, then at 10... 45, I go to the beach. Um, nice. <laughs> what, what else? And then go to sleep at 1 o'clock. Perfect. Sounds good. Sounds like a good vacation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and Abdul, do you want to give it a shot? So either your daily routine or a vacation, it's up to you. Okay. Usually I go to work at uh, 9 a.m. But before that, I take shower at uh, 8 a.m. And uh, I'll have a little bit uh, breakfast, you can say, for 15 minutes. So obviously, and 7.15. So when I go to work and, uh, and when I come back, after uh, five fifteen, uh, I'll start my dinner very early, and at night I just sleep at eight p.m. Perfect. Hopefully, people aren't leaving because they don't want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I say it's time to speak, two people left. <laughs> Um, Samantha? Yeah? Uh, please, uh, can I ask you a question? Or uh, or uh, let me ask you the question after the class. You can ask now. Because <laughs> uh, uh, it, 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 it depends some time to, uh, to answer to it. Can I ask you it after the class? Sure. Here, you can, uh, you can send me a message on Facebook, and then I can... I'll I'll message you back in a little bit. There's my Facebook. Okay? Uh, okay, I will see. Okay. And um, Pong is a thorn? Right. Uh, what? Okay. Tony. <laughs> Tony. Let's go. Uh, Tony. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. I, I woke up at uh, 6 a.m. at around 6 a.m. and uh, uh, did an exercise around my home uh, that did a, a big gym and uh, at noon I I ate some food that is a salad I think you really like about that <laughs> and uh, and uh, at this moment I can't sleep because uh, I would like to uh, study with uh, my classmate in this class at the uh, around 5 p.m. that is good time <laughs> to learn English, yes. All right. Completely. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks, Tony. And yes. um, Omar? Yes. So go ahead. You can either tell us about your daily routine yeah. or what you would do on vacation. Uh, yeah, in, vaca in, the, in vacation, uh, when uh, when I woke up, uh, I go uh, uh, to the to the bathroom, 
uh, was was my <laughs> then uh, then then go uh, and uh, uh, do uh, breakfast uh, yeah. at at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Then uh, then I uh, uh, then I prepare my then I prepare uh, uh, my uh, 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 then uh, then I prepare uh, my uh, books uh, to go to school. Okay, perfect. Uh, uh, I study. Then uh, I uh, 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 then I I I I return to home at uh, twelve uh, a.m. Uh, then uh, 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 I uh, I. Uh, I take my lunch. Then I take my lunch. Then uh, at uh, at uh, six uh, p.m. Uh, I go uh, to uh, training. To uh, training. Then uh, then uh, I return uh, to home. Then I do my uh, school duties and uh, help uh, 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 help the family in uh, taking uh, out uh, the trash. Uh, or uh, feeding uh, the dog. Then uh, I uh, connect on internet. Uh, then I go to sleep. All right. <laughs> okay, we have time for one more person. Would anyone like to talk who hasn't? Okay, I'm going to pick you. How about Laura? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I wake up at uh, nine mm -hmm. a.m. a.m. Uh, and I have a shower and brush my teeth at uh, half past uh, nine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I go. I go to to English lesson at uh, half past ten. And I finish the lesson at 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 eleven o'clock. No, eleven no. Il, uh, half past eleven. Okay. And I mm, come back at home at twelve, and I study uh, all all all. I, I don't know. All night. All day. All 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 day. Mm -hmm. And I go to sleep uh, at at uh, twelve. You work mm -hmm. too hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Cool. We're just about out of time, so I just gave you the links for my Facebook and my Verbling page, um, and I'll be teaching the next class as well. It's intermediate reading, so hopefully I'll see some of you guys there. Okay. Yes, okay, bye. It was okay, great. See you later. Thanks. Bye, bye. bye. bye.